Hey y'all, come on in. Let's see what's happening in today's video. Greetings. And salutations. So, today is April 1st. And, uh, we have shopping yet to do. <laughs> and we leave in four days. <laughs> so, join us today as we scramble to get other things done. I have to remember to turn down the radio because I had just a snippet of radio in um, my vlog that went up today, uh, which is April 1st. Uh, I didn't get a strike because it wasn't like a long piece of it. So, yeah. <laughs> Oops. That's the first time I've actually done that. Obviously, you know, we're out and about. I'm in the car. This might be the only vlog footage you get is car vlog. <laughs> we have so much to do yet. Like, I have to get shorts. I only have two pairs. Uh, I went through, uh, I was a bit broader in the backside. All of my shorts, although they are basketball shorts, are too, too tight. That were, that was last year. <clears throat> so this year, my extra large basketball shorts are too big um which is fine but you know i need decent shorts for like going out and doing things so anyway and i need to get undergarments and some toiletries and a new bag because the bag that we used last year it got ruined so when we leave on the fifth okay we get paid on the third. I can't get my hair done until the fourth because she's closed. She doesn't work on Wednesdays. So I was supposed to get my hair done Friday, but that fell through. Uh, and then we are, you know, I can't get seen until the fourth at four o'clock. It is what it is. So I'm getting my hair done. While I'm getting my hair done, Chris is going to do laundry. Um, and we'll be leaving out, we say early, early for us is 10 a.m. We both don't sleep well, and, or his legs bother him at night, or, you know. So, we'll probably pull out around 10 a.m., and our first actual destination is West Yellowstone, Montana, um, because I want to go... Uh, to, you know, we were going to go North, Car uh, North Dakota, South Dakota. So from <clears throat> West Yellowstone, Montana into Minnesota, and we're going to go to Paisley Park. But our first leg from our house to <clears throat> Montana is a little over 12 hours. It's all going to depend on how he's feeling. He, de he deals with neuropathy, so when he's had it, he's had it. This means that we will either stealth camp in a car or we get a room. We're hoping to not have to get rooms quite as often, but if we do, we do. So, today is running around trying to gather up stuff. Tomorrow... I need to kind of pack, if I have my bag by then, uh, and then the third, we have two doctor's appointments before we leave, and then the fourth, I can't have my hair done until four o'clock, so we'll be leaving on the fifth and headed out. So, I have decided that I am going to do daily vlogging. Uh, <clears throat> Typically, it's a challenge, but he hasn't started the challenge, so I'm kind of getting a jump on it. But, uh, we'll see. I, I like to, uh, let people know where I am and what we've seen, etc. So, that's why I daily vlogged last trip. It's today. An egg roll. <laughs> that's it. An egg roll. <laughs> gas station. Gotta have gas to go anywhere. And I don't mean the kind of geeks out of your behind. Although we did have red beans yesterday. Ooh, that was a da bomb. Red beans yesterday. Ugh. 
they turned out perfect a second time around. Anyway, so I soaked them for about 45 minutes before setting them to cook. And I cooked them in my pressure, uh, my Instant Pot, my pressure cooker. Uh, which used to be the way my grandmother did it with the old canning pressure thingy, a jigger. <laughs> and uh, the first time when you apply heat to them, and I didn't think about this, when you apply heat, they expand a little bit. They, well, they expand a lot. Uh, so I put them in for 50 minutes. And when I went to release the valve, there was no hardly any steam coming out. So when I pulled the top off, I was like, oh, shit. So I didn't want them to be stuck, you know, to the bottom or burnt or anything. So I'm digging in there with the spoon, and they, they just didn't have any water. So we set them back with uh, an inch of water over the top of the beans and set them for another 20, I think it's another 25 or 30 minutes. And... They came out so good. So good. So, uh, what's left, I will be dropping off at my kids tomorrow. Because, yeah, I don't have time today. <laughs> and I forgot about the house anyway. So, next step, next destination, Walmart. Uh, I'll probably have to go again on the third because, you know, Got to have a, a certain amount of cash to go to Walmart. Here's a funny. We're all doing this. You can hear me. So, we have a, a, a fast food chain here called Burgerville. And they have on their marquee uh, almond butter shake. Alright. So, uh, Chris is like, well, I don't, I'm not an almond person. He doesn't eat nuts. <sighs> so many jokes on Anyway, so I was like, yeah, isn't that called peanut butter when they make butter out of like a nut? So it'd be almond butter. Why would you put that in a shake? And better yet, how do you get milk out of almonds? I mean, you know, I get coconut, I get cow, and I kind of even get soy. But almonds and milk. Just crazy health food things that people go through. Speaking of, I can't actually drink soy milk. I love the taste of it. Can't drink it. Crohn's disease. Right in one out and out the other. And I don't drink enough milk fast enough to do almond milk or uh, coconut milk. Because it'll go bad and I'm the only one that you know, can drink it. Or will drink it, I should say. But I noticed that since we moved, I I have less issues with my stomach. Yes, I go through bouts of problems due to Crohn's disease, but it's nowhere near as bad as it had been in the, before. So, anyway, <clears throat> almonds, milk, yeah. Moving on. So, what y'all think of the hat? I think I'm going to do a haul when we get home, because filming in Walmart, I always forget. So, when we get home, I'll do today's haul and the other items that I have. We have dogs and other conversations. It gets loud. So, I swim in a sports bra. It's just easier because of, of being lazy. Then I got, I live in a sports bra ever since my reduction. Then this is so that uh, we can lock, uh, we can lock. This is so that the dogs don't pee on directly on the mattresses because somebody's lazy and doesn't like to get up when the dogs need to go out. One of my shirts, another sports bra. A bunch of these in different colors because I love these in the summer and since my reduction I can now wear them so I have a maroon one these are to make the baby a quilt they have unicorns on them and I have a pension I have an entire collection of bandanas that will get made into quilts eventually this is a pair of pants that I've got 
just in case we go somewhere nice and I can wear like I have a maroon uh, maroon t-shirt uh, not the spaghetti strap so pants um, just a gray everyday t-shirt A aqua colored shirt. I love this because of the print. It reminds me of a shirt that my dad had when I was little. It made out of the same material too, it feels like. It's kind of like a it's a nylon. Then a purple t shirt. Uh, this is a tank top, sugar skull tank top, one right before it was made out of. Um, I have had a flamingo fetish for years, <laughs> so I have this t-shirt. And yes, they look big because I like to wear my shirts big. Uh, it helps to mask the fat in my mind, which I know it doesn't really. This is mine. It's same kind of shirt. It's got pineapples on it. Those are in the men's department at Walmart. This is the maroon, regular maroon t-shirt. I'll fold everything when I get no. Then this is a spaghetti strap shirt. A blue spaghetti strap shirt, a pink and purple bluish white kind of color combination uh, spaghetti strap, this is for Chris because he needed a nice shirt just in case we would go somewhere. And the last thing in this bag is a shirt uh, that he picked out as well. So it's like the pineapple and the um, flamingo shirt, but it's got palm trees all over it. That was, that's the beginning of the month. I have a few things from today, not a whole lot. Um, I was in desperate need of new underwear. So. I have those and they come in the stripes, a peach, and a melon color. And these are my car shoes. They're just slippers that look like shoes because um, I hate wearing shoes. But if I have to get out somewhere or it's night or what have you, I can wear those with uh, some booty socks. So. This is a shirt that I will use as a pajama. It was in the men's section. Guess what? It's got flamingos on it. This is a 3X. Again, it will be used as a night shirt because it will hang low enough. <clears throat> this is an actual night shirt um, because we live in our camper. This is RV there they get. And I usually get this in a 2 to 3X just because I like things big. Oh, I've been like that all my life, though. Um, this one has pineapples on it. It's like the flamingo one that I just showed you. It's a 3X, so it'll be used as a pajama. And then I have a bunch of these. Um... I have one hanging on the back of Chris's seat on his carabiner, and that is my emergency bag. Um, you guys know I have Crohn's disease. Sometimes it flares, and I have no warning. So in that bag, it will be uh, wipes, a half roll of toilet paper, um, pair of clean underwear, 
and if I can fold up and make it small enough a pair of pajama pants uh, this one I have three more I have two more I have this one I have one that has a unicorn on it and I don't remember where the other one says these are gonna hold bras and underwear that way I can tell hubs go to the lemon and get that thing out get me the lemon container thing pet bag <clears throat> And then I have more underwear. Um, they're they're three pack for three bucks. Um, I'm in between sizes, so I didn't want to buy like terribly expensive underwear because when I get home, it will be uh, I'll be in a smaller size. And then I love hipsters, but again, being a pleasantly plump woman, I wear a uh, currently wear a ten. And I'm not ashamed of that because I used to be in a 12. So I have, these are all hipsters. Um, and they're again, three pairs for, I think these were $4, a little extra, but they're made of micro mesh and they're hipsters. And then another pack of those. And then these are my car socks. Yes. Because I, if we're traveling and my feet are cold, what have you, I'll have these. Because typically, I will be bringing regular socks and regular shoes. But for the tap, for the most of the time, I usually just wear my flip flops everywhere. Um, and this year, I didn't invest in a pair of Skechers flip flops. Um, basically, just because a pair of Skechers flip flops is like forty bucks, and the ones that are on my feet uh, are. A little less than that uh more like uh maybe i think these were six or seven bucks at walmart um i'm not hard on shoes like this because i tend to trade them out every year all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video um i have a lot of editing ahead of me uh because of the haul and barking dogs and screaming people <laughs> but Tomorrow is another day. I get to see my grandson tomorrow and my granddaughter tomorrow and my son's new house. And uh, I'll probably go to uh, Walmart again. I get so much at one time. That way I don't lose things in the interim. Because um, it's really kind of hard to lose things in the camper, but it happens. So be good. Stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Tell me what about this video that you liked, or what you didn't like, what else you would like me to do. Uh, we begin our travels. Today is April 1st. We leave on April 5th. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Y'all know the drill. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell so you know. And we'll see you in our next video.